Nathan, what a last 10 minutes it's been. <laughs> Your heart must still be beating. Uh, How are you feeling? Oh, so nervous and anxious and everything. Just over the moon to win. This dream come true. Like, me and Matt were just we're sending these quotes to each other, inspirational things, you know, to get us going. Just something just clicked. Not once he hit that 180, it just gave me fire in my belly to punch back. I'm lucky I did, aren't I? You saw the relief at the end, how much it meant to you. The best moment of your career? It's up there, it definitely is up there. Like, it's TV debut this, this tournament, like, really. So, to get that kind of win against a top quality player in Rutowski is mind blow. When you were 4 3 down, did you think that was it? Game over? And, and I knew it was my throw, because that's the way the whole game was going, it was on throw, I think. Um, I knew I had the game on throw. I couldn't punish him when he actually didn't score as good in this throw, and so I just said, get this leg and just hope for the best the last leg. Hope. Up next, I'll give you the best player in the world yeah, quite right now. Johnny Clayton, how do you approach it and you just take it in your stride? Well, he's just, it's like Rutowski, like, he's not a big name, and I played Gar the best name probably in the world too is Garen Price, like, so it's, I played Johnny a few times now, so I know what to expect, he's a gentleman and he's a great dog player. You and Bradley Brooks both produce brilliant stuff on the dev tour and doing it again here, does it show everyone how the system works and how the system should be played? Yeah, it does, like, people may say, you know, how do they deserve to be there and all that, you know, and there's arguably that point, like, for, like, Kellen Ritz and all line players who've done well in Surrey, but me and Brooks is in the last 16, like and against the people who's on their own merit, like so it just shows you there's there's good goals to go for in the development her and challenge her. Nathan, congratulations, thanks very much. Thank you. Nathan, what was going through your mind when Christoph had all those match starts? Do you think that was it? Yeah, I did. There's a few times in that game I just said you blew it. Like I, I knew he was vulnerable on TV because he he's a great floor player, but I knew if a could stick the pressure on him. I think it could happen. And lucky then last maybe 11, 12 darts just went in for me. This could be a massive turning point in your career. How much are you enjoying this experience? Oh, it's, it's unreal. I, lo I love going out, getting announced and walking into the crowd and the, the crowd just singing your name. It's just some things you dream of, like. It is, really is. Going in, into the game against Johnny, Johnny's obviously going to be favourite. Can you just play with freedom and, and enjoy it again? That's it. Who hasn't been favourite against me this week so far? Like So I'm going to be in all week, the underdog, and I don't mind that. As long as I play my darts, I know I can get a good result, maybe. Cheers, Nathan. Nathan, when you started in that last leg with 60-60, was it important not to panic and know you've got the dart? Yeah, I didn't say it'll call myself a battle, Joe. <laughs> I was like, well, you screwed this one up, didn't you? But lucky enough, he kicked on. I think I needed that mm. just to kick me on a wee bit. It's just a bit lucky at the end, so was he missed that dart at tops for 82. I thought I was pinged in, and then double one, double two, he missed that. He gave me loads of chances, to be fair, to be gutted, but I'm the happy man, thankfully. Mm. Just going on your sort of expectations, a little bit of a, a free shot in the next round, there's less pressure on it because you're not going to be expected to win, but you know I, you can. This whole tournament, to be fair, has been a free shot for me. Like, mm. I probably, you know, Brad finished above me and he's the one who deserved it. I'm just here to make up the numbers and I'm happy enough. <laughs> so not making up the numbers. Cheers, Nathan. Nathan, well done, fantastic. Uh, there's Cloud9. Uh, what Cloud are you on right now? <laughs> What's the highest number you have? It's, it's unreal. <laughs> Uh, it's just a great feeling to hit two dart finish like that under the pressure it was. My leg was shaking and <laughs> I just went in, thankfully. The last leg, you look composed uh, on the TV. How does you feel going into that? 67? 67 is like, just please ping the travel 17. Just give yourself two darts and make the most of it. And look at it on the two darts. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. Same as that 85 on it, or 82 was it against Gaza. Just some times ago. He said to Michael Bridge, uh, it was lucky. You don't believe that, do you? Luck. You can get lucky at times, like especially in this game, small margins. So you know, a man could miss the treble by a millimetre at all the time, he could average eighty or something, ninety, but it could be a near hundred average, you know, millimetres. I think